Alright, I thought I'd shoot some video of my Chinese bore welder running. When I wanted to find out if these things were any good, I couldn't find anybody that had actually tried one out and shot video. So I figured it's about time I did. So, as you can see, it definitely does help bore. This hole I actually put two previous layers in and I had a, uh, a couple of big tubers to mix up that I had going on. And so I went ahead and recut it flat before I laid in the third pass. It was a really worn out bore. But anyway, that's the one that I bought. I mean, like anything that's Chinese, you really don't know what you're getting until it arrives. So this one had two issues out of the box that I had to say three. First off, it was just designed to bolt up here and that didn't fit my Climax gear. So I machined this adapter and then down on the end where it connects to my wire feeder, I'll show you this in a minute, it came with the uh, what they call the European style and of course nothing here uses this. So I ripped apart another Chinese MIG gun that I had that had a Miller style end and Frankenstein the two together. This is what I consider to be the biggest failing on this thing. It had this total piece of crap on the end of the uh, gun that is just, I mean, rinky-dink. You're running 160, 150 amps running 035 wire like this. There is just no way that was going to hold up. So I adapted, once again, I took one of my $60 Chinese imported MIG torches, ripped it apart, and adapted the gun off the end of it onto the end of this. And, that has worked awesome and it uses all off the shelf Miller components. So I paid, I want to say it was 1650 bucks for this thing shipped to my door. And I gotta say for what it is, I'm not complaining. It's done a pretty darn good job. Um, I'll show you once I shut it off, but we're about to the end of this weld. It does have a lot of flop and the slides and stuff that makes it kind of a pain when you're trying to uh, get set up and get centered on your hole, you gotta be really careful about how you set everything up. All right, there we'll shut that off. I'll show you, like, well, it's hard to see it on the camera, but there's a lot of play in like these slides, there's some play in this bearing. And so you gotta be careful how the load is because otherwise as you're moving it can drop over center and all of a sudden your distance from your bore changes. Um, matter of fact, whatever they've got in here for a swivel is kind of catchy. And if you let the cable just hang on that, it winds up and then comes loose with a big bang. So you can see like here in this shop I'm working in, I got a bungee cord here. I'm gonna make an arm that attaches and comes over just to hold a bungee cord and support this. But hey, you know, 8,000 bucks, for the uh, York versus this thing at uh, 1650 bucks. I probably will still go ahead and buy the York someday, but you know, in the meantime, I couldn't afford 8,000 bucks, and by golly, this thing beats hand welding all to pieces. So anyway, there it is. Hopefully this does somebody out there some good. If you're wondering the same thing I was, are these things any good? Short version is, they're a piece of crap, but they get the job done.